The Restored Church of God's ministry serves members in pastorates all over the world. The ministerial conference held annually at the church's world headquarters in Wadsworth, Ohio, USA, is an invaluable source of knowledge for leaders. Field ministers, assisted by their wives, work with those God is calling into His church, as well as with existing members. The instruction given at this unique week-long event helps them function effectively as fishermen and shepherds. They support Pastor General David C. Pack in carrying out Jesus Christ's second commission to feed the flock of God. One of the things I enjoy most about coming to the conference uh, is just the fellowship from minister to minister. To share those stories together is powerful and it really is uplifting and to help one another understand, okay, we're all going through this together. We're to be servants and to help and also to be here on campus and the beauty to share this and hopefully take just a, a glimpse of that back to each one of the members is uh, really a treat. I think the conference is a place where we're able to build a greater foundation so the tools we're going to actually take from this conference will be able to apply it and help the brethren and guide them and direct them and be able to help them through what they need to do for the future. The headquarters uh, staff and the ministers are absolutely fantastic. The lectures, fantastic. Give us the meat that we need to better ourselves so that we can serve congregations in a better, more thorough way. One of the best tools of the conference is sharpening iron. The fact that we spend all this time together, conversing, learning from each other, sharing ideas, ideas on how to deal with people, how to help them better in a more efficient way. And then that's exactly what happens here at the conference for this entire week. It offers us that opportunity to get updated with what is happening in the world, the current state of the world, the changes that are going on. It equips us. It's more like relearning and re-equipping you, preparing you to go back to be of better service to the members. Every time we go, we go back with something. If you like, a new tool in the, in the toolbox. Some of the benefits this large event offers includes pastoral training, updates about the work, writing and public speaking workshops, abundant opportunities for fellowship, and much more. In the time leading up to the conference, various staff and departments work together to plan and prepare. Landscaping staff, assisted by local volunteers, readied the campus for its many visitors. The Grand Garden was a major project finished just before the conference began. Registration was held after everyone safely arrived. This was the perfect chance to say hello and catch up with others. Mr. Pack began the conference with his annual keynote address and the state of the work before delivering other messages. This year at the keynote address, uh, it definitely set the stage for, uh, and frankly, what we are here to do, and that's to be servants. And uh, you know, when you're out there in the field among brethren, you realize that they see you a lot more than they listen to you. And so in many ways, it is rolling up your sleeves and getting in there with them in the trenches, so to speak, doing things for, for people. Uh, a lot of them spiritual aspects, but also physical. And so we enjoy that a lot. It gives us a sense of purpose of what we are actually supposed to do. And then if we kind of get out of the way in a way, it brings us back and it gets us focused in the way that we should be uh, caring for our flocks, caring for the people and keeping them headed in the proper direction. As days progressed, leaders delivered messages on a variety of subjects. These included pastoral care classes, computer workshops, updates about business and accounting, legal and security, mail receiving, media production services, and more. They were also live streamed over the internet for remote attendees. 
A series of presentations were given specifically for ministerial wives to help them better fulfill their role. Well, I'm, I'm married to an incredible woman, um, and she is at least 50% of my ministry. Um, she does so much. I couldn't do what I do without my wife there. So I'm a very blessed man. When it comes to dealing with the, with the membership, oh, she's a great pillar. She's always the one there to say, take it easy, look at it from this perspective, look at it from this other perspective. So she is the coming bam, if you like, um, behind the scenes. And she relates very well with the, with the members in the congregation. And I don't know, I wouldn't have been in the ministry without her. To efficiently execute such a large event, dedication and teamwork were shown by many individuals in roles of service. Duties included setup, ushering, meal prep, sound, translation, photography, formal portraits, videography, and video switching. Actually, one of the favorite activities that I do have when coming to the conference is going to the sermon at workshops. Where you watch others, you can glean information from what you hear from them and hear the evaluations that go from the men. And you can also, when you're up on the plate, that you can get a greater aspect of how to deliver a message properly to, to help everyone out. The walking tour of the headquarters campus, led by Mr. Pack, is eagerly anticipated each year. Those new to the campus become acquainted with it, and those returning observe what has changed over the past 12 months. The things I enjoyed the most here is actually the beautiful campus and how it developed over few years and how many hands did this God's Spirit helping everyone volunteer and be able to do it all in one one accord and everyone one-minded uh, doing a tour of the the campus every year is wonderful because you get to see the changes and there's dramatic changes that occur from year to year so that's always extremely enjoyable knowing what the property looked like before the headquarters was built because we had seen it once before and seen the photographs to see how it's transformed by God's little flock doing all the work that they do. It's an incredible transformation to see the beauty of it. And each time my wife and I get to come here, it's just more beautiful. Uh, this year it was the Grand Garden that was uh, placed and it's very, very beautiful and very special environment to be in that reflects the beauty of God's creations and, and uh, God's quality. The ministry also went out for walks on the campus during personal time. Some even enjoyed horseback riding. Beyond the organized activities, one of the reasons the conference is so important is that it strengthens bonds of friendship among the ministry. Each day was filled with chances for attendees to ask questions, share stories, and get to know each other better. An evening get-together in the Grand Garden involving fellowship, dessert, and live music was a perfect occasion for the ministry to spend time together. The two Sabbaths, bookending the conference, featured reports and sermons by field ministers. Musical performances also added a touch of elegance. This is our fourth ministerial conference. Every one of them gets better. As we attended more of the conferences, we got to know the ministers from around the world. We got to share experiences and stories. So we had this common bond. The conference is important also for the, uh, the fellowship with other ministers and be able to share these ideas, share uh, issues that other ministers have had that you may not have had to deal with, but you will, or you may in the future. So that camaraderie, uh, the back and forth, the, con the communication with other ministers is crucial. I really enjoy the interaction with, with the other ministers. Getting together, uh, as, as, as the congregations enjoy going to the feast, to be, to be with people like, with like minds, and, and just absolutely wonderful, we all know that. For the ministers, coming to the conference is like coming to a feast. 
we get to be with people with like minds, with like goals. And to be able to get together with people that way makes us stronger, makes us, I think it makes us better ministers. We are out there in the field all the year and we interact with Brethren on a continuous basis and, and also in the world to a degree. And it's been so helpful to be able to come to headquarters to be uh, reminded of many of those principles and to be taught. The 2019 Ministerial Conference was a profitable and important event. It brought leaders in God's church together to learn from one another and grow in the skills needed to serve brethren back home in their pastorates. The conference provided the necessary tools for each minister to become more effective at pastoring, writing, speaking, and leading. And this will produce good fruit in the church's local congregations around the globe. To learn how to become a member of the Restored Church of God, contact us 